Welcome guys, patch 23.1 is here, actually it's gonna hit tomorrow, the day after this video. I've been a little bit delayed on this video because I've been working on my AUG versus M4 comparison video, which by the way, you should check out if you haven't already. This patch might seem simple at first, but I think it's gonna be quite impactful actually. Because in this patch, we are first and foremost getting a huge change to the map service plan. The random map pool will now reset weekly and change every week, which is very interesting. It simply sounds like a great way to add more variety to a game that has too many maps. One thing I'm a little bit sad about is that Miramar will no longer be a guaranteed map. It's going to be Wrangle and Sanag that is going to be the two guaranteed maps in the map pool. But we'll have to see how that works out in the coming weeks. For the bigger maps, Wrangle, Miramar, Tego, and Destined, we have some basic changes that's going to happen on all of these maps, which might sound not that impactful, but I think they will be. Phase 1 to 3 will now be similar to ranked, which means that they will be faster than before. This is going to cut down the looting time in the early part of the game. And to compensate for this, they will add more loot in general. They're also going to add motor gliders to Tego, Vikendi, and Destined. Oh boy, we're going to have a lot of fun with this. And actually, I already tried this. This is how a motor glider looks like on Vikendi with a thermal scope. First time glider on Vikendi. Oh my god. Oh wait, 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 wait. Well, I don't know. I know where I am. Oh! Uh, uh, 120 meter. <laughs> oh my god. That was crazy, actually. You know, that was, that was actually pretty cool. That, that was, that was wild and freaky. Like, that felt very scary. Just getting a feel for what that feels like. I mean, is it... Is it I'm not sure it's going to be that strong. Like, these are bots. They don't do anything, right? Um, against normal players. Yeah. It's definitely going to be good to have both a thermal scope and a normal scope. You definitely want to have that so you can swap around. And especially if they're like, if they go into a smoke, obviously, you can still shoot them from the glider. I can say it's actually kind of good practice shooting from a glider. Oh, wow, that was it. Never got to jump out. Ah. But let's wait a bit to see how strong that play will be in the future, because after all, this was just against bots that didn't really do anything. On the maps, we're also going to get more vehicles overall, which is great. It's something we've been asking for for ages. And to add to that, more of those vehicle spawns will now be actual cars and not bikes. Rank mode now gets Destined, so in Rank you're going to be playing Wrangle, Miramar, Tego, and Destined. Blue Sun Grenades are going to be added as well to Tego and Destined in Rank mode. Folded Shields available on all maps. Emergency Pickups to Wrangle, Miramar, and Tego. And finally, Motor Gliders added to Tego and Destined. So I think they're making Rank mode a lot more playful. And honestly, I'm considering trying it out again.
PUBG is also getting a new animation that's going to make it more fun to hit those headshots where the helmet breaks. When a helmet gets destroyed in PUBG, it will now blast off the head of the player who loses that helmet. This might seem like a small thing, but I think this is going to make those already very satisfying headshots just even more satisfying. We're also getting always on parachutes on all maps at all times with an infinite amount of charges. You can use it all the time as much as you want. I'm sure this is going to make for a lot of interesting plays, such as jumping out of a glider and parachuting down. Could be jumping off a high tower or a mountain on a wrangle. Like, there's going to be a lot of interesting things with this. The final thing I want to talk about is the new season pass, which is, in my opinion, the best season pass we've seen for years. Like, I cannot remember having seen this much of a stacked season pass before. You got so many outfits, weapon skins, you got parachute skins, vehicle skins, PUBG nameplates, all that kind of stuff. I'm sure that this is going to be a hot seller for PUBG. And if you are considering getting this, please consider locking into your account on Crafton.com and then add me as your creator to support. This greatly helps me and just supports all my PUBG stuff. And that's going to be all I have to say about this patch. There's more stuff in the patch, but smaller things. Guys, I'm going to add a link to this in the description below. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you guys next time.